All right, Shalom Amakim. Um, first of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to my apostles, my elders, the great millstone, and peace and blessings to you brothers out there doing the work and truth and sincerity. All right, so Brother Kanak, and I want to come to you brothers with a quick video, you know, um, pretty much about how these guys out here, you know, you have these different sect of uh, Israelites or or people of non-believers, or they have a different doctrine, and they're really, they're really just here uh, to try to catch you up in your words. They're not sincere, like vocab Malone, you know, guys like that, you know, guys from the conscious community, you know, other Israelite, Israelite groups that are not sincere. You know, they're they're pretty much uh, here to try to catch up on catch catch you up in in your words, and you see that with these guys' videos. You know, you have a video of. Uh, one of the apostles or another brother speaking something and, and they don't understand it. And then they'll bring out a video from three, four years ago, you know, and, and they'll put a, they'll put a clip together and a video together to try to, to try to demonize the doctrine, the time to try to demonize, you know, and, and put, and, and, and put, um, against different brothers of the way that they're speaking in the, in the, in our belief system. But just like the Apostle Gabar said, that this thing of ours, they don't understand this. All right. And then I just want to hit a couple of scriptures uh, to show you that they were doing that to Yahweh Shai. Now, I, I'm in Luke, the 11th chapter. And if you read the Luke, the 11th chapter, pretty much uh, first the Lord starts off talking to his disciples. And then he pretty much just starts cursing out these uh, these scribes and Pharisees. All right. Because they kept they were coming up to him. All right, they were coming up to him trying to trap him up in his words. All right, they'll send the scribes, they'll send the Pharisees, they'll send the lawyers, you know, they'll send different sects of Israelites to try to trap him up in a doctrine because they never heard this doctrine before. They never heard the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. And they weren't asking to be sincere or to try to get some type of edification. They were asking for the, to the intent to try to trap him up, to make him seem like he's a false teacher. All right, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna read the, I'm not gonna read the whole chapter, you know. Um, you brothers can read the chapter to kind of get a backdrop of what the video video is about, you know. But it pretty much the, the Lord, the Lord just cursing these guys out because they weren't sincere. All right, they weren't sincere. They they were trying to trap Yahweh Shai up and try to ask him all these different questions. But you know what? They were confounded. They were confounded of the strangeness of the doctrine because number one, the Most High is not dealing with them. All right, the Most High is not dealing with them, and then what did they do? Since they couldn't get them um, through through the Spirit, they tried to get them physically, and they end up they they actually ended up all right uh, giving giving Yahweh Shai up to the Romans. All right, he, they actually end up giving Yahweh Shai up to the Romans. All right, and tried to kill him several times. When you read when you read in the Gospel, all right, they tried to kill Yahweh Shai several several times. All right, but it was allotted for Yahweh Shai to go on that cross to die for the sins of the elect. All right. So I want to get this scripture real quick. So uh, this is Luke 11 and 53. It says, and as he said these things unto them, all right, after after these these different lawyers, these sect of the lawyers, you know, you have the the, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees, you know, uh, you even have the Herodians. When you go into uh, Mark, I'm going to get that when you go into Mark, the 12th chapter talks about the Herodians. Those were Israelites that pretty much were um, were uh, uh, in 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 one in league, all right, with the Herodian dynasty, with the with Herod, all right. Just just like you have Israelites today that are all about America, all about America, all right. They cast off being an Israelite. They don't want to hear that, all right. And they'll and they'll actually further they'll actually uh, uh, further your affliction by teaming up with Esau. All right, by teaming up with Esau and, and, and to persecute you. All right, so this it's nothing new under the sun. You got these guys coming back to the uh, coming back in the same lot. All right, do, do guys that are into the conscious community that always uh, that they always have the, the Israelites in their mouth. Uh, they're always trying to trap the Israelites, the Israelites versus uh, Kemet versus the conscious community or uh, the Hebrews on trial. All right, you you have the same thing going back then uh, and during the time of Acts when Yahweh Shai was on the on. During the time uh, of Yahweh Shai and in the time of Acts, all right, over 2,000 years ago. All right, so let me go again. This is Luke 11 and 53. And as he said these things unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to urge him vehemently, all right, and to provoke him 
to speak of many things. All right, they wanted to pretty much trap him up. It's going to tell you, lying, laying wait for him, and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. All right, because uh, according to uh, Hebrew law, all right, you you can't just uh, persecute somebody if they haven't committed anything against the law. So what they were doing, well, they were asking these different questions according because they were masters at the law, so to speak. All right, the letter of the law. All right, the scribes, the Pharisees, the different, the lawyers. All right, they were they were trying to trap Yahweh Shai up, right, to accuse him, to accuse him to, for what, to put him to death, to kill him. Uh, verse fifty four, lying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him, and and they, and these guys are doing the same thing to this day. You know, you got demons that come to the camp and and try to uh, you know, they 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 bring they put the head down or at, try to ask a sincere question. And really, they're not asking that to get the edification because they, they're actually, they they believe you as a teacher. They're trying to trap you up to what? To, to make you to seem a, to be a false prophet. Now, when you go into this word, I want to go into this word. Uh, vehemently, all right? The Pharisees began to urge him vehemently and provoke him to speak of many things, all right? So when we come up to vehemently, I'm going to get two definitions, all right? Vehemently. Vehemently. It says, in a forceful, passionate, or intense manner, with great feeling. So they were, man, they, these scribes and Pharisees, because the scripture do say that Israel has a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. All right, the same thing with Paul. Paul, he was a, uh, he was a doctor at the law. He was a Pharisee, and he was doing the same thing. But it, but the, but Paul was doing it. He was sincere. He actually, uh, he was actually sincere in the things that he were doing. All right, these these wicked scribes and Pharisees. All right, they were trying to trap Yahweh Shai up. All right, so when you go into Matthew, the 23rd chapter, uh, Matthew 20 to 23, all right, Luke 11, uh, Mark 12, Yahweh Shai is pretty much cursing, cursing these scribes and Pharisees out because they were being hypocrites. All right, so they were forcefully asking Yahweh Shai these different questions to try to trap them up. All right, so when you go into that word um, vehemently, vehement, all right, uh, impetuous, all right, impetuous. Right when you look that word up, I looked the word up. All right, impetuous. All right, that word is it means from the late 14th century, hot tempered, fierce, done or given with a rush or force. Or they were man, they were, they were just being demons, man. Violent, impetuous, violent, man. These guys were being demons to attack. They were pretty much attacking you. I was shy with these different questions to try to trap them up. What to do? What to accuse them? And inevitably, what did that? What happened? They couldn't get him according to the to the scriptures. So what did they have to do? When you go into the story, they pretty much set up a false, false. Uh, 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 um, what's the word I want to use? Uh, I'm looking for. They they set up uh, false accusers. I believe false accusers. All right. Um, pretty much to to to, to lie. And say that Yahweh Shai was saying these different things, all right. Which he, which he wasn't. They just couldn't get him. They couldn't trip him up because they were wicked, man. They were wicked. Yahweh Shai was cut, cutting them, cutting them straight. You can read that. Read Luke eleven, Mark twelve, Matthew twenty three, all right. And and pretty much show you that uh, that these that they kept sending these different these different sects of Israelites to try to trap them up. Are right? the leaders of our people, are right? which are wicked, man. All right, and they do this to this day, man. They'll send those, uh, uh, they'll send their little cronies out to the camp. All right, and got the aha uh -huh scripture. Oh, I got, I got you now. Oh, I knew you guys was, uh, was false prophets. All right, so they were doing impetuous means to hot temper. All right, and I got that word again. It says, acting or done quickly and without a, with, without thought or care. All right, that this is what these uh these wicked Israelites were doing, man. Without thought or care, they didn't. They weren't trying to ask these questions, all right, for the sake of being edified, for the sake of hearing this doctrine, because it, 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 it because it somehow they felt that they needed some more uh, answers to it, because they they wanted to know what was going on. All right, they were wicked, man. They were getting cut to shreds, and they and they hated that. They hated Yahushai, that he wasn't um, he wasn't a, a so-called Pharisee. All right, he wasn't a doctor of the law. He was just a, a, a so-called average man. All right, the, the son of Joseph. 
All right, they couldn't understand how all he was doing all these miracles. And then when you read in, when you read in those chapters, it pretty much uh, said that he was casting out devils by the head devil Beelzebub. All right, then he came back and Yahweh was like, "Hey, so if I if I if I'm a Beelzebub and I cast out de devils by Beelzebub, who do your sons cast out devils then? All right, because y'all wicked, man. You 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 need you so called Negroes because during that time you had Negroes back there in in Jerusalem. All right, wicked as hell. All right, you have the the lawyers and the scribes and the Pharisees. They were telling Jake to keep the law, which you're supposed to do that. And Yahweh Shai even says that you know." Uh, do all that they say, but don't do after their works. All right, because they're not doing the law. They're 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 being. Uh, they love them high seats. All right, they love they love them 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 names. They love them them titles, and you you see that to this day, man. Nate, all right, you got these different um General Yohanna, all right, Bubble Eye Blackfish, these different Israelite groups. They don't do it. They don't do it for the sake of built um. They don't do it for the sake of, of building Israel. All right, for the coming of Yahweh Shai. They're doing what well, for money's sake, all right, for filthy lucre's sake, okay? So it says act of done, done quickly and without thought or care. That's what these, that's what these wicked Israelites were doing, man. Hot tempered, fierce, all right? So they were just being violent, just being, just being uh, pretty much niggas, man. To try to trap Yahweh Shai up. This is uh, Mark, this is Mark 12 um, and 13. It says, and they sin. Unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodians, right? Yeah, so the Herodians was pretty much Israelites that took on that philosophy. And I'm going to read it. It says Herodian. In the New Testament, a member of the Jewish sect, Israelites, Jews, associated with the Pharisees in opposition to Yahweh Shai. That's right. They were in opposition to Yahweh Shai. All right. And these were pretty much Israelites that took on um, the customs of the of the uh, of the Romans. All right, they were Hellenized. Right, they knew that they were Israelites, but they were they they took on the customs of the uh, of of the the Romans. All right, and assumed to be supporter supporters of Herod the Great Dynasty. Yeah, that's right. They were supporters of Herod, just like you got Israelites that are support supporters of different uh, factions of Edomites. All right, they might be a supporter of Trump. Obama are just just the, the philosophy of America. All right. And, and you have, like I said, the same thing that the same thing that were going on back then is happening right now, man. And we see that when these guys come against us. All right, because Yahweh Shai is not here. All right, they're not really coming against us, they're coming against Yahweh Shai. All right. That's that same doctrine that Yahweh Shai was uh, uh proclaiming over two thousand years ago is the same doctrine that we're doing. All right, that's why we're hated. All right. That's why they want to kill us. OK. They're trying to uh, they're trying to debunk the so-called doctrine. They're trying to de debunk uh, all the things that we say. Oh, that scripture doesn't mean that. That doesn't mean this. All right. And when you go into Matthew, the 23rd chapter, pretty much Yahweh Shad was doing the same thing. Pretty much Kurt is pretty much cursing out Israel, man. The leaders will Matthew 23 and 29. Woe unto, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! All right, yeah, he was pretty much you, man. You go into the, this chapter, man. It's bad because the Lord was pretty much just cursing them out, man. That's why they were so, they were so, um, they were so mad. They were so mad because they were getting cut to the heart. All right, let me get the scripture real quick because that's what the uh, that's what the scriptures will do. All right, Hebrews uh, four and twelve. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Yeah, they were getting cut to the spirit, man. All right, and that's really how that's really how we deal with these guys, man. We cut them to the spirit, and what they do is they get cut and they say videos, oh, and, and they act like they're with the doctrine, and then when it's something that they get offended of, they bring it back out. It'll be a video ten years ago. You gonna put it together? Like how? How did you get that video, man? Because they're demons, man. They're demons. They weren't. They weren't. They were not watching the videos for the sake of being edified. They're watching the videos for the sake of trying to catch you up. All right, just like it, it talks about uh, right here. It says lying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. 
So that's what these guys are doing, man. They're trying to, they're trying to, they're lying in wait to try to accuse, all right, the, the brothers, the elect, the prophets, or the apostles, piercing even to dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and marrow and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right, because they, they're getting cut to the heart because here it is. They, how are these guys, how are these guys able to be, to go out there and preach the word and try to say that they're righteous? Which we don't even say that we're righteous, man. Our righteousness is from is is through Yahweh Shai, man. We're we're in the flesh. All right, but that doesn't stop us from not trying to keep the law to the best of our ability. All right, that doesn't stop us from not going on the highways and byways. All right, and bid Israel to the marriage, which you guys don't do. All right, you guys are only listening to the word. All right, coming out there asking questions to try to trap to try to trap brothers up to try to debunk the, the doctrine. Because your only hope is to try to debunk the doctrine. Because if the doctrine is true, you're going to be destroyed. And you hate you hate that brothers are going out there, so-called average everyday Jakes, average everyday Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right, with regular jobs, all right, with families, all right, with with uh with, that are dealing with Esau's hell in this kingdom, and you can't fathom fathom that they're able to go out there and preach the word, all right, because you know what the Spirit of the Lord is dealing with them, brothers. Are right, he's dealing with the uh, with the apostles and the elders and the different uh, the camps, and you guys you guys are getting mad because you want to be in that position that head position, but you're wicked. All right, that's why uh, you try to trap you try to trap up brothers. All right, but it's not going to work, okay? Because you're going to be destroyed, just like Yahusha was saying in Matthew the twenty third chapter, where he was pretty much cursing out Israel, man. That you were you you're pretty much the children that killed the prop the prophets, man. Are you you guys are the ones who killed the prophets, and if if it was up to you, you'll try to kill us. Are you uh you'll send um you'll send uh what's it called Esau Esau the the videos to try to try to put us in jail, or try to try to get, uh send it to our women, our children, our people that we work with, and say look look he's a racist he's a racist. So you can pretty much put more hell on us, all right? Because Esau he's already putting hell on us, but you you Israelites put more hell on us. All right, so you Israelites who do all this, man. Esau don't even do this. Because Esau, he, he's not a spiritual man. He's just getting cut. All right, he's just getting cut. He's going to roll on us, and he's going to roll on us with the with the sword. All right, try to chop us up and put us in prison, because that's his only chance. All right, because this word is getting out too much. Now, as for you Israelites, you Israelites, man, you put more hell on the prophets than anything. You're the ones who actually killed the prophets in the reincarnation. All right, but this, 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 uh, uh, go around, you're not going to kill the problem. You're going to be killed. You're going to be destroyed, actually. All right, the Most High is going to destroy you by famine, by pestilence, by beast, by the sword. All right, and, uh, that same that same sword that Yahweh shot, that the Lord has, Esau, he's going, the Lord's going to um, reverse that sword and put it on you. All right, you're going to be destroyed. All right, for all the idle words and thoughts that you had towards the Lord's chosen elect. All right, because you're not part of the elect. So, you know, I hope, um, I'm going to wrap the video up. I hope you brothers are edified pretty much. These guys, uh, they're pretty pretty much these guys, these, these Israelites, all right, in particular, are trying to trap, try to trap, trap brothers up, man, with, um, with, with, our, with, with our words. All right. They're trying to trap brothers up with, with our words because they don't understand. They don't understand uh, this doctrine. They don't understand this thing of ours. All right. So with that, I hope you brothers are edified once again. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Shema Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders, and peace and blessings to the to the elect still pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.